Hi, friends. Let me just make a quick adjustment like so. Ooh, I don't have my uh, earphones on, so do me a favor. Toss me a heart or a thumbs up if you can hear me clearly. Uh, just a quick heart, a thumbs up if you can hear me clearly. Hey, George. George will let me know, right? George, can you hear me clearly? Let me make sure that all of this is turned up. Or do I need earplugs? Just toss me a little heart. I'll see it uh, come across the screen so I can be aware. And I'll wait for a few. Here comes Lewis, always right beside me. Uh, let me log on here for a second. Saturday night, not the best time to do it. I'm actually getting ready to go to dinner and thought I would share something with all of you. Let's make sure I can. Okay, good. Great. We can hear me. Hey, Eileen, how are you? So yeah, Saturday night is definitely not like prime time for going live, but you know, I really don't, uh, I really don't mind. I thought I would give you guys a quick tip. Here's little Lewis, my little husband with fur. He's my original husband. I have two husbands. Every woman should have two husbands or three. Uh, just kidding. But, uh, yeah, Lewis, wanting his love. And here comes Roger, wanting love. Yeah. Here he goes. So he's probably going to bite me. I should probably stop, right? I should probably stop. Hey, Rick. Hey, Lori. Hey, Eileen. How are all of you guys? Love the hearts going across the screen. Thank you very much. So what I wanted to talk to with all of you tonight was just a little bit about carbohydrates. I know that there's a lot, you know, going around about, you know, low carb, you know, we should all be, you know, God, Lewis, little man, we should all be eating a low carb diet, yada, yada, yada. So I actually eat a very high carb plant-based diet. Reason being is once you take, thank you very much, I believe and several others believe that once you take the, um, you know, the dead decomposing the animals out of the diet, because, you know, really, why would we want something that's dead and decomposing, decomposing in our body when you think about it? But once you, <laughs> great, oh, he's going to bite me. But once you remove that portion out of the diet, it's actually very easy to not just survive, but to thrive on a high carb, uh, plant-based way of eating. Ah, oh, Lewis, I, I don't like to use the word diet because I think the word diet has such, you know, it has such a stigma to it. I really, Lewis, really Lewis? Lewis is gonna do this the whole time. This is like the third time he's done this to me during a live video. He's literally trying to push me off the couch to go play with him. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. And he's giving me an allergy attack at the same time. But I'm gonna focus here. Uh, you know, really, when we remove the, the animal protein out of our, our way of eating, I'll just call it a way of eating instead of, that was kind of gross, Lewis. Instead of um, instead of a diet, it leaves room for food combining to happen naturally. Now, what do I mean when I say food combining? I mean not putting carbs <laughs> with protein, not putting you know really eating carbs with vegetables, protein with vegetables, but by eliminating the animal protein from the diet, we really really make space to eat things like clean carbohydrates. White rice, I prefer white rice over brown because uh, brown rice has phytates in it, which inhibits mineral absorption. Uh, you know, things like sweet potatoes. <laughs> Lewis, my God. Things like sweet potatoes. Um, you know, I'm not talking bread here. I'm not talking Wonder Bread. I'm not talking cookies and cakes. I'm talking real carbohydrates that really help the body thrive. You know, also our brain thrives on carbohydrates. If you've ever seen someone 
on their way into ketosis on a high protein diet. It's like they're listless, they're bitchy, they're stressed, they're anxiety ridden. And you know, I know a lot of people really disagree with me when it comes to this type of thing. But really, um, thank you, Mark. That's very sweet. Hey, Carl, in the UK. But really, you know, I, 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 I challenge all of you to try it for a month, two months, you know. Uh, a, a couple good books of reference are The Starch Solution. That's a really, really good book, you know. Again, I eat white rice, I eat sweet potatoes daily, and I do indulge in a, a few gluten-free vegan treats, um, actually daily. And, you know, you can see by the bone structure in my face and my collarbone, I'm extremely lean. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I don't want to throw around size because there's such a stigma, you know, attached to being a small size. But I'm a tall woman and I'm really, I'm lean. And there's not a lot of, like, heavy lifting going on with me or running. I don't even run anymore. I, I, I really do very little yoga three times a week. I hit the gym five times a week for no longer than 35 minutes. There's not a lot of exercise. Some days I'll walk my dogs for 40 minutes up and down the hill and I'm done for the day. There's not a lot of exercise going on here. And I've really reached a place where dieting is a thing of the past. And hey Gary, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, you know, and dieting should be a thing from the past. Uh, it should be you know, left in the oblivion because we don't need to diet. And, you know, if we really focus on what just eating a plant-based diet is all about, it's not just about thriving and, and having your hair, you know, grow strong and long without having to do anything to it and having clear skin and having a vibrancy about you. It's more than that. It's about helping the planet. It's about changing the planet. When we go plant-based, when we eat a plant-based, you know, when we adopt a plant-based lifestyle, we are helping to save the planet, okay? Uh, you know, if you look into like how much water a cow consumes in a year, if you look into, uh, you know, there's some conservation right there. If you look into how these animals are treated on a daily basis and how short their lifespans are and how they are killed, it really, you know, if you're not going vegan for your health, go vegan for just the sake of being an animal lover. And so many of you, I hear this all the time, they're like, I love animals. Oh my God, I have six dogs or I have 32 cats or I... Well, if you love animals, leave them off your dinner plate, right? If you truly love animals, love all animals. You know, studies have shown that uh, a pig is smarter than a three-year-old, yet we eat them. You know, and all the studies show that while they're on their way to the slaughterhouses, they know what's going to happen to them. So this is our truth now. This is a truth that we all need to face together. This is a truth, you know, I mean, I wouldn't put my little Lewis up on a, on a in a slaughterhouse to be slaughtered. Why would I do that to a cow or a pig? So I'll get off that stepping stool right now and go back to the carbohydrates. So here's where the carbohydrate phase came in, the whole low carb phase came in. If you do the research, years ago, you know, there was the whole fat-free phase in the 80s. Fat-free this, fat-free that, fat-free, fat-free, fat-free. And what, what we finally smartened up to was learning that, you know, when they took the fat out of food, they replaced it with chemicals. So by removing the fat, they were replacing things like cheese and things like that with chemicals. Now... The whole high protein, low carb thing is another kind of government created gimmicky type of thing to get you to consume more animal products, which in turn ruins the planet. I don't want to get into like my conspiracy therapy theories or anything like that, but 
you know, for all of you who say, you know, well, I tried a plant-based diet and I tried doing the high-carb plant-based diet and it just didn't work for me. I gained weight or I didn't feel well. Well, what I'd like to say is it's kind of like Linda Blair and The Exorcist where she spins around and green stuff comes out of her. If you put healthy, high vibration food in a cesspool, you're going to expand, you're going to detox, you're going to go through a phase where you don't feel well, where you don't look well, where your skin breaks out, where you're just not feeling your best, right? If you put high vibrational food in a high vibrating clean body, then you have high resonating frequency, right? And you glow from the inside out. And that's what we strive for. That's what we're, we're going for, folks, because let's face it, you know, we are, the world is a changing. The world is changing. And to vibrate at a lower vibration, to eat things like fish, chicken, eggs, dairy, gosh, cows, pigs, you know, all of this, it doesn't feed us on a cellular level anymore. It doesn't feed us on a, on a conscious level anymore. It doesn't, um, you know, oh, what did I see the other day? Someone posted on Facebook that, you know, if you're, if you're trying to change the world, you know, uh, do this. And I forget what it was about. They replaced an eating utensil with a reusable one or something, and they were promoting that. And I thought, what, are you kidding me? If you're trying to change the world, adopt a plant-based diet. Seriously. If you're trying to make an impact, stop eating animals. That's the best and the easiest way to really make an impact in this world. And you know, I don't. You can come at me until you're blue in the face. It'll just bounce off of me because I'm vibrating at a high level because I'm not putting death in my body. And that's what I'm trying to teach all of you. And it's not a holier than now, you know, oh, I eat this type of diet, so I'm up here and you don't, so you're, it's not about that. It's about raising awareness of what happens inside of our body when we put low vibrational foods in our body. It's as simple as that. And where the carbohydrates come in is the carbohydrates really take the place of satisfying and feeling feeling good. Now, again, I'm not talking about Wonder Bread. I'm talking about sweet potatoes. I'm talking about white rice. I'm talking about, you know, quinoa is more of a protein carb type of thing, but that's a good one. I'm talking about amaranth. I'm talking about really good clean carbs. I'm not talking about eating gluten and things of that nature. And, you know, again, we've been taught that, oh, carbs will make me gain weight and carbs I feel tired on them and carbs this, carbs that. No. The carbs aren't making you gain the weight. The carbs aren't making you want to fall asleep. The combination of the dead animal protein with the carbohydrates are making you feel suppressed, down, heavy, you know, cellulite on your, on your derriere and legs if you're a woman, etc. You know, aging us in the face, all of that. So it's the combination of the two together. So we eliminate one and we invite the other in, and then we have this high vibration that, that, that happens later. Doesn't always happen at once. God, I went through a year detox. I, I looked like, you know, death. You know, hold up uh, the, the Scorpio tarot card, death. And that's what I looked like for a year while I was, you know, this was 15 years ago, but while I was transitioning onto a plant-based raw uh, way of eating. So it's not something that happens overnight, but it is something that eventually, when it happens, you will feel great about. I'm going to take like three questions. If anybody has any questions, uh, why don't you type them below? I might eat them later. Ooh, yeah, I'm getting picked up for dinner. We're going to an Italian vegan restaurant. And... Uh, Oh, hi, Joey. How are you? Hi, Mark. Hi, Carl. 
Um, it depends on what type of chocolate it is, Carl. Not all chocolate has heavy metals. Um, you know, I eat a raw vegan chocolate. Uh, Steve, what is his name? He works with David Wolf. Um, he's a friend of mine, my God, and I can't even... Steve Sadler, uh, he created a really, really good chocolate brand. I'll post the link in the comments section below when I'm done. Uh, you know, no heavy metals in his. They use the actual, the real cacao bean um, that they get from Ecuador, and it's very, very real chocolate. So there's, there's no heavy metals in that type of chocolate. You have to be very picky about what type of chocolate you choose. What is the best protein sub instead of tuna? Okay, so uh, first of all, I wouldn't really be eating tuna in the first place because it's extremely high in mercury. It's the highest food in mercury you can get. So, you know, you really don't want to be indulging in that, right? Uh, so I personally, you know, when you say what's the best sub for, for tuna, what's the best substitute for tuna, if you're talking about paste, you can make a great mock tuna out of garbanzo beans. They actually sell it at the Jimbo's grocery store I shop at. But if you're looking for more of um, protein quality or amount of protein, you know, the, the body needs very little protein to survive or thrive. Now, if you're a robust, young, strapping male that's weightlifting really heavy and you want to replace your protein, you know, you can get a vegan protein. Um, there are vegan protein powders on the market. You know, my friend Brendan Brazier, he makes a great one called Vega. So any of those uh, are great. That's a great question, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Joey. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, thanks for the share, Shannon. I appreciate that. Yeah, by the way, you guys, um, if you want to share, you can hit the share button. I love when you do that. It'll just share to your wall. You can just say, this is my friend Andrea. She's a vegan. Hey, Joe, my favorite person, Joe. Love, love, love you. Um, let me hit a like button on that. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Rick. So, you know, hit the share button, hit the like button, all of that. Love, love the shares. Hemp protein is good, Joe, that's right. So Rick says, what is the ideal ratio between carbs and proteins for someone who works out four to five times a week? Well, here's the thing. It's, and that's an excellent question, Rick, I love that. It's not about the ideal ratio. When it comes to ideal ratio, we wanna think like macros, right? We don't wanna think protein and carbs, protein and carbs. We, it's not like that. It's about what protein will your body absorb? What protein will your body actually absorb into your tissues? So the first step of it is, because our issues live in our tissues, is to clean the body out on a cellular level, right? Coffee, enemas, colonics, et cetera, juicing, dry brushing, sweating, all of that good stuff. Fasting, uh, turning off your cell phone, not talking to anybody, cutting out the negativity, the negative people, the negative drama out of your life, only inviting those in that are vibrating at a high vibrational level, you'll definitely know as soon as you meet them. Uh, the second thing we want to do is when we eat, by eating plant-based proteins, your body will absorb those proteins. So it's not a... a it's not about balancing protein and carbs. It's more about what will absorb in your body. And plants are recognized by the body and they're able to absorb. Hope that helps. Okay, you guys, uh, let's see here. So I've been on about 18 minutes. Al Jackson, Andrea, wonderful video with very wise words and very well expressed. I didn't know all of that about carbs. The empathy for animals is my personal motivation. Yay, I love to hear that. That makes me happy. That makes me feel happy. Uh, the empathy for animals is my personal motivation, but it's educational for me to hear the info you're putting out there. Well done. Thank you. That's, gosh, that's such a nice comment, Al. I might pin that. I'm pinning your comment. There, I just pinned your comment. Al, the comment of the day. So, you guys, on that note, um, thank you so much for joining me. I know I was like three hours late. 
Yeah, and I didn't even leave the house today. So there you go, right? Uh, but I am leaving now for dinner, and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Join me Tuesday at 6 p.m. for Tasty Tuesdays. And next Saturday, um, I'm going to do a really special video in the love room, which is actually this room. Um, and I'm going to have a guest on, so that'll be fun, fun, fun. And, um, oh, wait, is next Saturday the holiday? When is Christmas? Can someone tell me what day Christmas is? Because I'm not going to be around my family, so that makes me feel sad. But, uh, but I'll see them for New Year's. Uh, I'm Andrea Cox. Visit my website, andreacox.com. Sign up for my newsletter there. On Instagram, Raw Chef Andrea. You can go ahead and follow me over there, Raw Chef Andrea on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me there. And my YouTube channel, yay, uh, Andrea Cox TV. Be well. Have a great weekend. I'm like trying to log off on the computer. Sorry. <laughs>